Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to take this down. All right, good morning. <laughs> All right, so I am so excited to be here with everybody today. It is 10 o'clock on, I think it's a Wednesday, a little hard to keep track right now. Um, and we're going to get started with some bird yoga pretty soon. So is if anybody's here, you're able to comment on the side. Let me know if you're here. Um, I am Carolyn Byers. I'm the director of education at Madison Audubon. Um, usually, I'm out teaching kids in the community. <laughs> I see some friends who are calling in from the Dakotas. That's awesome. Um, usually I'm out teaching kids in the community. I see about 200 to 300 kids a week, um, which is not, not possible right now. Um, and I work at schools and community centers all throughout Madison, and we bring nature right to these kids. We take them on walks around their communities, and we walk to uh, local parks, and we look for birds and snakes and salamanders, and it's wonderful. Um, so, if anybody is here from Midvale, or Lincoln, or Muir, or Mendota Elementary, hi, I miss you all. Um, same goes for my friends at Veracourt, and Bayview, and Goodman. Um, soon we'll all be back together again. So, uh, things are a little different now, and Madison Audubon is trying to provide as much online content as we can. So, today, we're doing bird yoga. <laughs> um, so what you'll need today are clothes that you feel good moving in and a little stretch of floor. You don't need a yoga mat unless you want one. Um, and I also want to say that I am not a yoga instructor. So please listen to your body. If it feels good, do it. If you don't want to do it, just pause and wait for the next pose. Okay. All right. So we are about to get started. And hey, Jay, do you want to come join me? So my kiddo is going to try to join us. Come here, Jay. Come here. Can you say hi to everybody? Jay is almost three. <laughs> so we'll see how long this lasts. Okay, everybody. So find your mat. Jay, come on back here. Can you stand on your yoga mat? So we're all going to start, actually, by sitting. And you can sit crisscross applesauce if you want. Um, let, yes, let me know if you have trouble hearing me, okay? Um, so we're going to start sitting like this, and we're going to start with an owl pose. And owls are really special because their eyes are so big in their face. Let's go forward. Their eyes are so big in their face that they can't move their eyes. So everyone give me your best eye roll. <sighs> Pretend. Pretend your parents asked you to do something you don't want to do. Give us a good eye roll. Owls can't do that. So instead, they have really, really flexible necks. So everybody pretend you have a flexible owl neck. And bend your neck carefully to one side. And switch it over carefully to the other side. Feel a good stretch. Now look up. Now look down, and now we're going to make owl circles. Has anybody ever seen a video of an owl doing this, or a real owl doing this? They have such cool necks. All right, so now that our necks feel all stretched out, we are going to all put our feet on the ground like this, lean forward, and stand up slowly. All right. And once you get here, bring your arms up super tall. I'm going to back up a little. And we're going to pretend to be American bitterns. And these are birds that are like herons. And they stand with their necks very tall in, cat, in cattail marshes. 
And when the wind blows, they sway with the wind so that they look even more like a cattail, so that they can hide from predators and so that they can hide from their prey and maybe eat it. So everybody sway back and forth and stretch your bodies. Yeah, okay. Okay, I go hide with Papa. Okay, go hide with Papa. <laughs> All right. Bring your arms down. And I'm just going to go check and see if the comments are anything. Oh, hey, Melanie. It's good to see you, too. <laughs> All right. We are now going to do a snowy egret. We're going we're gonna to stretch our toes a little bit. A snowy egret looks a lot like a heron. It has long net legs and a long neck. And it has black legs, but it has yellow toes. And when it walks in the water, it stands still and it wiggles its toes. So everybody stand up tall, wiggle your toes, stretch them out. And this heron, when it wiggles its toes, little fishies see it in the water and they come closer. They think that might be worms or something else good to eat. And so when we're wiggling our toes, we're trying to get fish to come in to see us. So everybody get your hair and your egret neck ready and wiggle your toes and watch for fish. And then when you think you see a fish, slowly, slowly, slowly crouch down, get your head ready and snap, try to get your fish. Did you catch it? I didn't, I need to try again. So I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna wiggle my toes. I'm gonna stand back up again and wait for a fish. And then I'm gonna crouch down when I see one. Slowly, 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 and then snap! Ah, oh, I got it. So now, flip your fish up into your mouth and swallow it. Yum. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna move our arms a little bit. So everybody, plant your feet, get them nice and comfy, stand up tall, and move your arms. <laughs> And this is Jasper. He's joining us today. Move your arms like a big T. First, we're going to do a bald eagle. When bald eagles fly, they hold their wings very flat. And they soar a little bit and they teeter. But bald eagles are very, very strong gliders with flat wings. And they have very, very good eyes. What do you think you can see with your eyes right now? I think I... I'm gonna look into the windows of an ice cream shop and see some vanilla ice cream with rainbow sprinkles. And I do call them sprinkles, not jimmies. So now let's do an American crow. So everybody flap your wings nice and big. This is a bird you can probably see out of a window. And I watched two crows chasing each other yesterday. Right now, they are building nests and setting up territories. So everybody flap your wings even bigger. Make it a big, big stretch. And you can bend your knees a little bit too if you want while you're flapping. All right, and for our last bird, we're gonna do a turkey vulture. Not our last bird, our last flapping bird. <laughs> a turkey vulture is another bird you can see outside of your window. They hold their wings in a big V like this and they teeter when they ride the thermals. So everybody teeter and maybe Later, you can Google what a thermal is. So everybody teeter on your thermals. And right now, turkeys are migrating. And so sometimes you can see one or two of them flying over. And sometimes you can see 15 or 20 all at once. It is so cool. OK, put your wings down. Wiggle out your shoulders. Mine are a little tired. So now we're going to do a little bit with our legs. We're going to be foraging turkeys. I'm going to peek on up here. Oh, hey, Josie and Crosby. Awesome. And we are going to be, in a, be a turkey. So get your turkey wings ready and squat down like a little turkey. And turkeys, when they're foraging, they scrape their legs like this in the leaves to try and uncover acorns and seeds and anything else they might want to eat, maybe some bugs. So let's all get our turkey wings ready and Scrape up those leaves. Walk around a little. If you want to gobble, you can. If you want to go, ah, 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 you can do that too. Very nice. <sighs> Ready for another arms, arm pose? 
we're going to do a hummingbird. And hummingbirds have really cool wings because they don't really flap like this like a bird. They do more of a, a figure eight on its side. So everybody try really slowly to make the number eight laying on its side, maybe an infinity sign if you know what that is. And because hummingbirds can move their arms like this, they can fly forwards, they can fly backwards. Everybody move your feet like this too. They can fly to the side, they can fly to the other side, and they can fly up and down. So now that we did slow wings like this, let's try it fast while moving our feet. So move your wings really fast and go forward and backward and to the side and to the other side and now go up and now go down. Nice, okay, put your wings down. All right, so here in Wisconsin, it's still a little bit cold out and sometimes birds, they get chilly. And when they get cold, they like to tuck all of their cold parts into their feathers. And so one of the things they do is they tuck their feet up into their, their body feathers when they get cold. So everyone pretend you're sitting on a branch. We're gonna be chickadees now. Get your wings ready like a chickadee. And first, we are going to tuck one leg up. And this pose is called the chili chickadee. So hold your, your leg up, fluff your feathers, cover your leg with your feathers, and pause here and take a big breath. My other leg is getting cold. Now it's time to switch. So put your leg down, stand up nice and straight, tuck your other leg up, ruffle your feathers, cover your leg with your feathers, and take a big breath. Uh-oh, now both of my legs are cold. What do you think we do? Do we just jump? No, we squat down on our branch like this. So everybody squat down, fluff your feathers up again, and cover your legs with your feathers. Now everybody take one more big breath in and let it out really slowly. Okay, everybody stand up, shake your body out. Okay, we are going to get really silly now. Okay, you ready? We're gonna talk about poop. So has anybody ever found bird poop on the ground outside? It's like a white, little white spot on the ground. Sometimes you'll find them on logs or under trees. Um, so the bigger the bird, the bigger the poop splat. And owls and hawks poop a little bit differently. And so you can wow all your friends with this fact. When an owl poops, it drops straight down into a nice little puddle. When a hawk or an eagle poops, they shoot it out. And so when it hits the ground, it makes a little line. So we're gonna do a quick little, little quiz. So our pose for an owl pooping is to go like this and go splat. I'll do it from the side. Splat. And our pose for a hawk or an eagle pooping is to go like this, shoot. And I'll do it from the side, ready? Shoot. So I'm gonna say either hawk or owl and you guys get to choose which pose to do, okay? Ready? First, we're gonna do owl. Flat, definitely. Okay, ready? Owl, ha, splat, and hawk. Shoot. <laughs> uh, owl, splat. Now let's do another hawk. Shoot, excellent. So next time you're out walking and you find a big puddle, you know it's an owl. Next time you see a line, you know it's a hawk or an eagle. Okay, now we're gonna get really, really silly. You thought poop was silly, this is even sillier. We're gonna do the prairie chicken. And prairie chickens are birds that are related to chickens. They live in Wisconsin and they're pretty rare and special. And the really cool thing about them is that males they do a little dance to try and attract a female. So the first thing we need to do is get our feathers ready. So prairie chickens have really cool feathers on the tops of their heads. They look like ears. They're not really ears, they're just feathers. So everybody flick your feather ears forward, 
stand up, bend over like this, and prairie chickens do something called drumming, where they move their feet really fast like this. And then we're going to spin in a circle like this. Hi, Jasper. Lean forward and say, woo-woo, woo-woo, woo-woo. Turn around again. Woo-woo. Very nice. Okay, stand up. <sighs> All right, now a sandhill crane is a really, really tall bird. It looks a lot like a heron, and they are coming back from migration right now. And these birds do a lot of communicating with their bodies, and they can say happy things, and they can also say angry things with their body. And right now, we're going to do some sandhill crane dancing. So sandhill cranes, um, when they are feeling angry, some things they do is to lean forward and fluff all their feathers out and look really big and aggressive. So everybody, stand up nice and tall. <sighs> Get your wings ready. Lean forward. Fluff your feathers up. Very nice. Okay, another thing they do when they're angry is to reach down, pick up a stick, and throw it into the air. So everybody slowly reach down and pick up a stick and then throw it up into the air. Oh, let's do it two more times. Reach down and pick up a stick. Throw it into the air. One more. Reach down and pick up a stick. Throw it into the air. Very nice. So another thing cranes do when they're um, looking for a mate is they bow to each other. So if you have friends that you're doing this yoga with right now, your family, you can bow to each other. So cranes don't do this with their hands, but we're going to. Put one hand in front and one hand behind your back and then bow. And if you have a cat, you can pet them right now. And then come back up. And then switch your arms and bow again. <laughs> And let's do that one more time. Switch your arms and bow. Another thing cranes do is um, they jump. So when we jump, we're gonna flap our wings like this. Make sure you're not gonna jump on your cat and jump with your legs really high. So you gotta flap your wings and jump with your legs. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, three, flap your wings and jump. Flap your wings and jump. Very nice. And sometimes when they jump, they also kick. So this looks a little bit like a ninja move. Flap your wings, jump, and kick. Ha! Flap your wings, jump, and kick. Nice. All right. We are about ready to start calming down again. So one of my favorite things to watch is birds stretching and preening. Birds stretch a lot like us, and when many birds stretch, they stretch one side of their body at a time. So they'll stretch their arm and their leg on the same side. So let's stand up, stretch out one side of your arm, and then stretch your other side at the same time. If you want, you can hold them. Birds don't do that, but we can. Let's do the other side. Stretch out an arm, stretch out a leg. Oh, let's do that one more time on each side. Stretch out your arm. Stretch out your leg. Last time. Stretch an arm. Stretch a leg. Okay. Now everybody can come and sit on the floor. I'm sitting on my knees. You can sit crisscross applesauce if you want. So I also said I like watching birds preening. And preening just means cleaning their feathers. And I like watching long neck birds preen because they can reach all the way around. So let's pretend that we have a heron or a sandhill crane on our arm. And let's reach all the way around and scritch the feathers on our back like this. Oh, make sure they're all in the right place. They're all nice and clean so we can fly really nicely. Okay, let's try it with the other side. Get your head ready. 
This time I'm going to pretend to be an American woodcock. They have really long uh, beaks. And then reach your hand up and back and tickle all the feathers on your back. Make sure they're all where they should be. Oh, very nice. Okay, now we're gonna pretend to be a baby bird in our nest. And one of the things baby birds do when they're hungry is they open their beaks really, really wide. And baby birds have really bright colors on their beaks and on their tongues, and that makes adult birds want to feed them. And so when they're in their nest, they flutter their wings like this. Everybody flutter your wings. Open your mouth really wide and sway back and forth. And if you want, you can say cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. Very nice. Okay, stop. Now we're going to get even calmer and we're gonna to pretend to be an egg in the nest. And I'm gonna move back to my yoga mat to do this. We're all gonna curl up into a tight little ball, if that's comfortable, and if it's not, you can just sit quietly. And we're gonna take five deep breaths together and we're gonna let them all out really slowly. And when we're done, I'll come back here and talk to you all again, okay? So let's all go find a comfy egg position and take five breaths together. All right, everybody. I don't know about you, but I feel really nice and calm and relaxed now. And I want to say thank you. This was really, really fun to hang out with all of you and do some yoga and share some bird love. So I am going to post a list of all the birds that we did in our yoga today on, I think maybe on the comments to this so that you can all Maybe look them up later online, find some videos of them if you want, or so you can do this yoga practice again with your family. Um, I want you all to know that we are trying really hard to get lots of fun activities ready for families and kids and just anybody um, to continue really experiencing nature and getting all of the relaxation benefits from nature during this really hard time. Um, so check our website, madisonaudubon.org and check our Facebook pages and Instagram pages um, for if you need some ideas on getting out. And really reach out to us if you have questions or need help with something, let us know. Um, and finally, I wanna remind you all that right now, it's still okay to go outside as long as you're practicing physical distancing, you're staying away from people, and you're only going outside with members of your own household. So, no play dates, don't meet up with friends while you're outside, but you can still go outside, just be careful. And remember that birds are always there for you. You can look out your window, you can go on a walk in your neighborhood, you can go to a park. Parks are still open in Wisconsin and there's no admission fees to state parks. So go outside and give the birds some love because they'll return it. Okay, if anybody has any questions or wants to say hi, I will be on here for another few minutes before we sign off. Uh, so I'm gonna scroll through the comments Oh, Izzy is hoping for a peacock. Oh, we can totally do a peacock. Um, let's see. We are, how are we going to do a peacock? I think peacocks are little short birds. So we sit down like this and let's open our tail feathers really, really big. And when peacocks are feeling really fancy, they shake their tail feathers like this. So let's all shake our tail feathers. And sometimes they even spin like this. Very nice. Oh, I hope you're all doing a really great peacock. Let's see what else we have. Mm, somebody liked the gross, amazing poop facts. That's great. Oh, Lucas, hi, it's so good to hear from you. I miss all the cool things you show me when we're at school. 
I hope you're having fun at home and I hope you're still learning lots. Let's see what else. Oh. Mm. Glad you were here, Paula. <laughs> I'm glad there's some older kids in the audience too. It's really nice that you were all here. Uh, Lucas, I miss our Friday nature walks also. I really love ending my week with your class. It's so nice. Um, let's see who else we have. I think we are going to post this on, uh, on our Facebook page later. It's going to be recordable and I think shareable. Rec not recordable. It will be recorded. Um, and thank you, Emmy and Izzy, for joining. Okay, everybody. Does anyone have any questions before we sign off? Bird questions, kid questions, questions about my cat. <laughs> All right, it looks like no. So I am hoping to be uh, back here with more videos for you later. Maybe we'll look at some skulls or some feathers. But for now, be well, everybody. Take care. Bye.